What's going on guys? Today we have a very simple Caesar dressing recipe for you guys. A lot of people ask us to make dressings, just quick you can store in the fridge and you can have, you don't have to buy and look at all the ingredients and like figure out what's good. So when you are looking for dressings in the grocery store, I would recommend staying away from any vegetable oils like soybean oil, canola oil, and most if not all you'll find have those. So an easy route to go is make your own at home. So that's what we're gonna do today. The base of this recipe is going to be one cup of mayo, which we have here. Some condiments, they will also use vegetable oil. So if you're looking for a quality mayo, I would recommend getting one that uses avocado oil or coconut oil. This is a brand that I get often. You can find in any grocery store. You can also make yours at home. I like the convenience of buying it. So if you wanna buy one, you have the option. One cup of mayo to a bowl with my tiny little spatula. And I know traditional Caesar dressing has anchovies, I believe, but one, I'm not a fan. And two, I don't wanna like dice up anchovies and add those in, but you can, or you can just put anchovies right on top of the salad. All we're gonna do is add the rest of the ingredients and give it a nice whisk. So we have one fourth cup of grated Parmesan. You can always add more. And then another big flavor booster is that garlic. So you can mince up some fresh, cloves, two of them, or you can go the convenient route and use some squeezed garlic, which we're gonna use here. I'm gonna go probably like a tablespoon and a half. And then we're gonna add some oil. So there's always an oil in dressings. Here we have some extra virgin olive oil. You can also go avocado oil. And when you're looking for a quality oil, I would say the big thing is to look at the bottle. Is this a dark bottle or is it a light bottle? So the lighter the bottle, the more possibility of light getting inside it, oxidizing. So we look always for a dark bottle and then you'll know it'll last a lot longer. So we're gonna go two tablespoons of oil. And then the last couple ingredients, we have some Dijon mustard and you can get like multiple grains. There's like a thicker grain, there's a no grain Dijon mustard. I went like medium grain because I like a little grain texture. Two teaspoons. And I know a lot of you don't like mustard. I honestly, I don't love mustard myself, but it adds a really nice flavor and it's not too strong or overpowering, but you can also leave it out if you want. And we are gonna go one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, half of a lemon juice, or about two tablespoons of lemon juice. All that's left to do is give this a nice whisk. Oh, you can smell that fresh garlic and all the flavors coming together beautifully. And then let's do some salt and pepper. And this is all up to you. You don't have to even do any salt and pepper if you just wanna like save that for the end salad. You can just season it that way. Nice big pinch. And that's it. Transfer this to a mason jar, store it in the fridge. And that's what I love about this recipe. You'll always have a good quality dressing on hand. You can add this to like a chicken recipe. You can add it to your salads. You can just use it any way you want. For a real taste test, we're gonna wanna top a salad, right? So I'm gonna chop up some romaine here and let's make a mini Caesar salad. We got ourselves a nice bowl. Presentation is always key. Let's do some topping. I'm just gonna do a couple tablespoons. Mm. I'm gonna give this a quick toss. You don't want any dry lettuce in this Caesar salad. And then of course, a nice handful, some grated Parmesan, shaved or chopped, whatever you prefer. That's perfect. This is like, this should be in a commercial, Olive Garden. You're at Olive Garden, come eat our Caesar salads. How simple, right? And you have this dressing that you can store in the fridge, but I'm gonna give this a taste test and then describe the flavors I'm getting. Mmm, whoa. I was not expecting that to be so phenomenal. I feel like I'm gonna do this a lot. It's so easy to make, and you're not tasting mayo or mustard. Like everything is the perfect ratio, perfectly combined, a really delicious, easy Caesar dressing recipe. So if you wanna make this at home, and you really, really should, Linked below is the blog post and the instructions and the nutrition as well. So if you're tracking, like I'm personally tracking right now, and this is really easy to track. You got the mayo, you got the oil, and it's good quality and just really high fat. So having something like this on hand will make hitting your fat macros a lot easier and a lot tastier. It's basically a fat bomb in savory form. So again, thanks for joining me guys. Make this Caesar dressing at home because you're not gonna get it at Olive Garden.